I know you can do louder than that. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Down. Count on black jack when you blow the whistle. Move up here. Move up, boy. Right there. Now, go. Turn off. This summer, there are 215 students trying out for 160 marching positions in Southern University's Jaguar Band. Simple arithmetic shows more than 50 students won't make it. That blows about 40 now. About 40 of them I've already lost. Yeah. No question about that. Only the pure survive. And for the majority of those who don't survive, it means no college education, at least not this year. Making the band and getting a scholarship for many is their only way out. Such was the case for two of the three students we followed this summer. 18-year-old Bobby Lavige of Houston, Texas, 18-year-old Winston Turner of New Orleans, and 18-year-old Darrow Fields of Baton Rouge. They have to be able to march. Left spin, 16. Forward march, 16 in the Jaguar Hulk. What a see. Left spin, 16. Battle! And they have to be able to play loudly while they march. In the words of band director Isaac Griggs, they have to be able to walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. When you look into their faces, you realize these are only teenagers, youngsters. But for the vast majority of them, with every drop of sweat, every breath into their horns, or every beat of their drums, comes a wish, a hope, a dream, that making this marching band can pave the financial road to their college degrees. If they don't get a Pell Grant, the BEOG, the SEOG, or whatever you got to go along with it, then they won't be able to get in school, unless they take a loan. Fields, Turner, and Lavige each gave it everything they had trying out for Southern's marching band. They made all of the rehearsals, learned all of the music and the routines. It was tough going, day in and day out. And as fate would have it, they all made the band. Well, the story doesn't end there. Tomorrow night, in the conclusion of this series, we'll follow these three students through their very first performance. Andrea. Career. Tonight, in the final part of Ed's Personal Finance and Success series, we find these freshmen glad they made the cut, but nervous about their first game. One, two, one, two, three, three. It's 6 o'clock Saturday night at Southern University. In less than an hour, these students who make up the SU marching band will enter Jaguar Stadium in front of 25,000 people. For the freshmen in the group, those with the shaved heads, this is their first college show. It's now 6.30, and the band enters the stadium under the watchful eye of virtually everyone. For first-time band students, the tension is very, very high. Well, y'all know what to do. Think about the show, boy. Think about the show, boy. Now it's halftime. No turning back. Time to show what you've learned. First big night, Bobby. Yes, sir. Butterflies? No, sir. No, sir. No butterflies. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready to take care of business, sir. The moment we've all been waiting for. You ready? Yes, sir. Any butterflies? No, a little bit. A little bit, but I'm ready. All right. Ready to get it on. Good luck to you. Thank you. Amen. Each of the instrument squads has a pre-game tradition of prayer and meditation, followed by intense stretching and flexing of muscles, preparing themselves to, as one student put it, take care of business. Look at this. In the meantime, no one is leaving the stands. It's halftime, showtime. The magic moment has finally arrived. If you've ever watched this band perform or listened to band director Dr. Isaac Griggs, you can almost hear his voice as you watch the band perform. You cannot be as good as you got to be better than. That's something you can go back 30 years and that's the same thing they might tell you. Be at the right place at the right time, the right equipment, ready to concentrate. You're going to be there. You see? Because I just don't have time. I don't have time for mediocrity. You see? Either you're going to be the best or don't be it up. And how do the band members know if they performed well? 
Director of bands, Dr. Greggs, has watched just about every move and is first to meet them after halftime. Yeah, it's all right. It's gonna be all right. 